Good morning, Philippines. Well, it's a housekeeping day. We're cleaning the pond. We've got the old pressure washer out. And we're pumping it out. All the algae. We got here in the middle of October and cleaned it out. So October, November, December, three months later, it's as green as heck. So you have to change the water every now and then. So I thought, instead of looking my ugly mug, you'd like to see what I do. Got some tomatoes, or tomatoes, coconuts growing over here in a bucket. That's for my sister-in-law. And then I fill the kids' pool up so that we got a water reservoir, get the chlorine out of it. I'll transfer to that to the pond once it's drained. Got to get the fish out. And what else we got going? The wife's out there sweeping with a broom, looking at fruit to pick off the trees. And this is where I do my little podcast, my cup of coffee. Sometimes I sit on this side, sometimes I sit on that side, under the shade of the coconut trees. And we bought this place with two lots. Turns out though that we only own one and a portion of the other. But that wasn't disclosed to us, typical. Gotta watch out for that. Buyer beware in the Philippines. So, you know where you fall, you rake the leaves? Well, you do that pretty much on a daily basis in the Philippines if you want to keep ahead of it. The, the trees are constantly dropping leaves. We just planted a rubber tree here. It'll take a while to establish itself. And all the, your indoor plants that you got in Canada, yeah, they all grow outdoors here. You got a nice little hibiscus starting to flower and they come in different colors and we've got guava fruit growing up here which i've shown you before and of course our coconuts which for some reason the filipinos are very eager to cut steps in a in the coconut so they can harvest the, the fruit and then there's all kinds of Flowers, they don't know what they are. Apparently this one here, although pretty, is quite toxic. And then the, the calamangai are, are uh, uh, the popular fruit of life, the tree of life here. It just gets butchered on a continual basis. We got uh, around the, the pond, we got some lemongrass growing which it's great for keeping the mosquitoes away. And we've got some aloe vera over here, which is starting out. So, yeah. The other day I photographed this one here. It's uh, quite a beautiful flower. It's, it's holding on for some reason. But yeah, look at that, ain't that pretty? So, this is our uh, uh, what do you call it? Oh, come on. I've said it all lots of times. Anyway, it's a flowering, prickly uh, bush. Babe, what's the name of this one? Ah, uh, she doesn't know. Yeah. Anyway, if it doesn't get sun, it doesn't grow. The grass died over here because we've got some palm trees that our neighbor very graciously gave us because she didn't have room and they've established themselves now so that's the basics of the yard and the house for those of you who are curious uh, yeah we're looking at putting an extension out here simply because the townhouses here are so small and yeah Bougain Villa, that's the name of it, the Bougain Villa, it came to me, yeah. So they come in purple and white and shades in between. And uh, here's our gardener, she's about to plant the rubber tree, she's shy like most Filipinas. Right babe, are you shy? No, I'm not. You're not shy? Really? Ain't not shy? 
Yeah, she's shy. That's what makes her smile so precious. It's hidden. So there you got it. Here's another hibiscus for you to look at. Just over the thing. We've got a papaya tree growing up over there too. It's struggling. The problem with the papayas is that they, there's a worm that gets into them and uh, rots them out from down below and they end up falling over. And then we have these uh, lemon trees or what would they call a... Uh, what is it? Not cal Calamangai is, the, is the, the one that we were talking about earlier. That's uh, that's supposedly the tree of, uh, of life and it never gets a chance to grow. You just stick it in the ground and it'll just start sprouting on its own. So there's that. And uh, calamansi. This is this is called a calamansi, and it has a uh, it has a lemon type fruit, green. And yeah, we got rose bushes here as well. They don't seem to do quite as well as they would in in other parts of the world. Um, yeah. So. Somebody said, turn the camera around so we can see the beauty that's there. Well, there she is, hiding again. You're stuck with me, folks. So, hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, like and subscribe, push the notification bell, and we'll catch you in the next one.